Hello, and welcome to part three of our study guide review. Now, this is the third part, which means what I'm going to focus on today is page three of the study guide. So, again, no spoilers. Make sure you've done page three of the study guide before you watch this video. The other thing that I've thought of that I haven't been telling you is that really, if you're watching this video without your study guide in front of you, what are you doing? It's not like there's some ninjas that are going to come out and wah wah. Uh, it's not TV. We're watching this as a study guide review. Um, there's not going to be a jump scare. That only happens in the classroom. Okay, so make sure you have your study guide out. You've tried the problems. If there's something you don't know, then you can come watch this. All right, are we ready? Let's all right, first problem on here, we're starting off with an easy one. So write a compound inequality for the graph below. What I notice is that there are two parts of this graph. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is going to be a compound inequality. And that since they're pointing in opposite directions, that tells me it's going to be an or. So I might as well put that there. All right, I'm going to start on the left here. And on the left, I notice there's an open circle. And I'm going to start by writing my variables first because that's the least confusing. If you have a variable first, the arrow just points in the direction of the shading. My shading is going to the left, so I'm going to put a less than. And these numbers that are over here on the left, they're showing all the numbers that are less than negative 1. So this side is, pull up my pen, less than negative 1. Open circle means we would not put an equal to sign underneath it. Or, and of course no number can be both less than 1 and on this side of the number line over here on the right, so let's put another x. That's why we have an or. It can't be an and. And would be in between. So x is less than negative 1 or x is, and again it's pointing to the right, so we use a greater than. Right greater than. x is greater than 2. That's our answer. Nice. All right. We're getting a little bit more difficult as we move through here, but I'll tell you on something like this, you have all this stuff and there's all this wonderful story about planting and blah, blah, blah. Okay, solve the formula for W. This is all we need to know here. So it's just a literal equation. Solve the formula for W. What that means is we want W by itself. Okay, so we're going to get W by itself. I'm not even going to look at the rest of that word problem. So I know that I just want to get W by itself. Okay, so we have H equals 3 fourths W plus 9W. 9 fourths, how about that? Uh, so, hmm, we got some fractions. I think I want to take those fractions out. What do you think? Let's get rid of them. I've been doing the Halloween theme with all my music here. I know you guys are scared of fractions. But it's okay. We're going to make it. All we need to do is multiply by the denominator. And in this case, between 4 and 4, common denominator is 4. So I'll multiply everything by 4. That's going to do a little hua hua here. And on this side, we're just going to have 4h equals 4. Let me follow. So you can follow along. So 4 times 3 is 12. Divided by 4 will give us... 3, let me fix that, so 3w, or I just realized that the 4 is simplified 1 on there, and then again we're going to have 9 times 4 is 36, divided by 4 is just 9. Oh my goodness, this is so much easier. Let's not forget what we're trying to solve for. We want to get w by itself. So whatever we're going to do, uh, we're going to do... No, I don't want to do that. Black, let's do it in a different color. How about green? So we're going to subtract 9 from this side, subtract 9 from this side. Here's the thing. These are not like terms. Okay, can we move up here? Oh, it's not going to let me move up. Oh, the duck. Bye-bye, duck. All right. Um, so whatever I do on one side, i got to do the other side. That's going to leave me with 4H minus 9. They're not like terms, so that's all we can do is just leave them like that. And finally, I have 3w is equal to 4h minus 9. I want to get w by itself, so I am going to divide both sides by 3. 
5 by 3. I have to do this over here. And I get W equals 4H minus 9 over 3. Now, this is an acceptable answer. But some people might see this 9 and 3 and think, let's simplify that. And sure, we can do that. So another acceptable answer would be 4 thirds, because remember the 3 is dividing both the 4H and the 9. 4 thirds H minus 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is another acceptable answer. Either one is okay. I'm not trying to confuse you, just let you know that, say if it were a multiple choice question, you'd have to know that they are equivalent. All right, so moving on to the Oh, this one's not so bad. Solve this inequality. All right, what we're trying to do is get x by itself, so it works a lot like an equation, except we have that inequality symbol in the middle, so this is kind of hard to read. Let's get the duck out of the way. Mm. Okay, duck. I don't know if that helped any. Here we go. Negative 2 times 2x plus 3. All right, you guys see the parentheses. You can figure out what you should be doing here with a little hua, hua, and hua, hua. And, of course, hua's mean multiplying. So that's going to leave us with 5x minus 5. And is less than negative 2 times 2x is negative 4. 4x, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Awesome. So, now, I can probably get the duck out of the way a little bit. Oh, why is, okay. I guess not. Let me move the, the thing in the word states still before. Whatever. Okay. So now, I want to get x by itself. So, let's do this. I'm going to add... I'll do it in green. I'm going to add 4x to both sides. Mm -hmm. That's going to give me 5x plus 4x is 9x minus 5 is less than. You guys should be so good at this by now. So many things that we've done. This is just easy. It's like fun. It's like ha ha ha. Right? That's what you're all saying right now. And the opposite of subtracting 5 is adding 5. I'm trying to separate the numbers from the variables. Stinky, silly over here. Leave him alone, forever alone at a party by himself. So that leaves us with 9x on this side, because of course this is a hua. And negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. And we have a less than sign here. All right. So now we have the last step here is just going to divide by 9. Question. Do you think we should flip the sign? Should we use the special rule? Hmm. The answer in this case is no. We hua because it's we're, we're what we special rule special rule sorry only comes into play when this when you're dividing by a negative number. It doesn't matter what this is. I know that's negative one over there. That's not going to cause you to flip the sign. Only when you divide by a negative number or multiply by a negative number do you flip the sign. So, nope, no special rule in this case. Sorry, I know you guys really wanted to see that. So, final answer here is x is less than negative one ninth. Oh my gosh, it's a fraction. It's okay, it's allowed to be a fraction. All right, moving on to the last problem. Okay, this one's got a lot. Now, there's a lot of reading in this. This one, however, might be helpful to know this information. Um, what it's going to come down to, there's two parts to this question. It says, part A, solve the formula. So we're going to solve that for T, so that's the literal equations. And then part B, we have to solve it. Okay, so some people try to do this in reverse order, but I think we can start with a literal equation. So A equals p plus prt, and we want to solve this for t. So that means we want to get t by itself. We can do this. All right, what I'm going to do is see a bunch of stuff. This is all multiplication of t right here, but 
I'm looking at this. We want to get rid of that first because we're doing reverse order of operations. You know, make our life easier. Okay, everyone wants to get away from T. So this becomes A minus P equals P R T. Not so bad. I want to get T by itself. Now I'm going to divide, and I'm going to divide by both P and R on both sides. P and R on both sides, so we get final answer here of T is equal to A minus P over PR. Not so bad, right? So now part B. This is where we gotta look and pay attention to the other stuff. See, look, some of the writing is staying still and the duck move. I can't explain it. Anyways, so A is the amount of the account, P is the principal, R is the interest, T is the time. That's information we need. Because they tell us in here that he opened with $3,000. Hmm, okay. So opened, what he opens with is the principal. So principal here, maybe this is something that you might want to remember, study, star on your study guide. Principal is the amount you open the account with, $3,000. 4% interest rate, that's R. It says R is the interest rate, so 4% is the interest rate. And a new balance of 4200 that new balance is the amount in the account. And we want to know, solve for time. We want to know what the time is. Fortunately, all this work we did in part A will help us. Because now all we need to do is plug it into this part of the equation and we're ready to go. All right, so A, the amount in the account, like we said was, oh, can't see my problem again, is 4,200. So it becomes 4,200. Again, that's the A. So I'm plugging it in right here. P, the amount you start with, is $3,000. Uh -huh. And, oh, P repeats itself, so it's another 3000 And times our rate, uh, what's our rate? 4%. Okay, so we first need to convert that percent to a decimal. So that's going to be 0 0.04. In order to solve this, first I'm going to subtract. 4,200 minus 3,000 is 1,200. Ooh, kind of sloppy, Mr. Barnett. Yeah, I know. Deal with it. I'm writing with a finger on a screen. Uh, the bottom would be 3,000 times 0 0.04. And do the math on that. I believe you get... Let me pause and check. Okay, good. I was right. It's 120. Then we get 1,200 divided by 120. That gets us to equal 10. What does that mean? 10 is a time. How many years would it have to take in his bank account? See how it says years right here? It would take 10 years for Marley to save up that money. All right? So that's our last problem. All right? One more thing to talk about here. We have our shout outs. Yes, a few shout outs here. Ryan said hi to Tyler. Hashtag best older bro ever. That's really awesome, Ryan, that you said that to your older brother. I don't know if he's going to watch this video or not, but sure. Shout out to Tyler. This one's just a picture of the Distribution Ninja, so I'm not sure why that's a shout out or how that works. And this one says, please do an... ASMR video. I don't know what that means. I hope it's not bad. And say special rule. We said that earlier and hua hua. I've been saying that a lot. So there's that shout out for you. All right, guys. Hope this helps you get through the study guide. Let's not forget that you are important. You are cared for and you're listened to. Good luck.